All right, so very quickly, I'm gonna tell you what I think is the coolest thing about sprouting lentils. So I am kind of camping out right now. So you might hear some, you might hear some background noise, but uh, I just got these lentils yesterday. They're actually looking pretty green to me, even though on the camera, they seem to be almost orange or almost red. So I just got these lentils yesterday and I, I soaked them overnight. Gosh, that was a good one. Uh, I soaked them overnight. And th here's the cool thing about lentils is in less than 24 hours, you can already see a physical change in the lentil itself. And I think that from the perspective of biology, that's just fascinating because what that indicates, sorry, he lost his tail. Uh, what that shows us is that these lentils can sit in storage for years, absolutely years dry, but they have some type of receptor or sensor either at the cell surface, but eventually translocated to the nucleus of the cell. They have some type of receptor that activates uh, gene transcription. And within 24 hours of being wet, you can see that you go from receptor to gene activation to protein synthesis to a physical change in the lentil itself. So you can see all these lentils now have tails on them. And those are the sprouts that are obviously in the process of forming. So you can imagine, you know, when I bought these lentils yesterday, I just received them yesterday. These are organic lentils. I ordered them online. They arrived last night, or sorry, well, yeah, kind of late actually. So I soaked them in this uh, bowl. I don't have a colander right now because I'm camping out. Uh, I soaked them overnight. And like I said, you can, you can very clearly, that's a really big one right there. You can very clearly see the tails on these things. And like I said, I'm just calling them tails, but they're obviously the, the start of the sprout. So again, within 24 hours, you go from receptor to some type of nuclear transcription factor to activate the gene expression. And then you go from gene expression to protein uh, formation, some type of uh, anabolic signal that changes, actually changes the shape of the lentil within 24 hours. Uh, and then tomorrow, by the time, so here's what I'll do in just a moment, just to clarify what I said on the, on the blog today. On, and the blog, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is called healthythinking.substack.com. So uh, what I'll do again tonight, I, won't, I only soak them once, and then, well, I'll just show you. So basically what I do is I just, to keep them clean, to keep them clean, but also we want them to be hydrated, but we don't want them drowning uh, after their first overnight. So the first, the first overnight, soak looks like this you just soak them but then the next day you have to drain them like i said i don't have a colander because i'm kind of camping out right now but you just drain off the excess water you can use your hand you can use a towel you can use the lid that goes to this whatever just to get off the excess water because we want them damp but we don't we don't want them sitting in water and i just do that once or twice a day uh, for two or three days and then by that time they're ready to eat uh, and you just eat it like you would a salad. So oil and vinegar, maybe salt and pepper, whatever you want to do. And then you can garnish it with whatever, fruit, other vegetables, uh, cucumbers, like I said, uh, in the blog, apples, strawberries, whatever. Uh, like I, I think I may have said, these are organic. I don't really think it matters too much uh, because they're going to, you know, sprout and they'll be mostly organic in your hands, even if they didn't arrive organic. But anyway... That's the fascinating life history of sprouted lentils.